guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do an update for my single ladies and my man mad collab that i'm doing with some wonderful ladies here on youtube and instagram you should definitely check them out they are linked down below as always plus my updates for this project this project started in january and we are ending it when we don't have any matte shadows left in our collection which will take forever well you can end it if you want to but i don't want to so <laughs> i'm not going to end it very soon i am going to restart it by the end of the year just to spice things up and i will go back to the shadows on a later date but for now i am using my morphe palette as my man matte we were going to choose a matte palette and this is the 35 om palette which is all matte and warm toned just up my alley to be quite honest i have some really exciting progress to show you guys with this palette so i will insert a picture from last time so you can see the difference to now <laughs> does that make sense so last time i had pan on six eyeshadows i can probably say now i have hit pan on eight eyeshadows i am so excited about this i have had two pans in a month that is so huge for me and especially because they are dark they are the dark shadows in this palette which is insane to me because it's mostly the lighter shades you had pan on first but in my case i had pan on the darker shades <laughs> i'm really excited so the first new shade I have is this bottom corner right here. It is a warm toned, really dark shadow. I have used it a few times in my crease. I have used it a lot in my eyebrows, so that is why the pan is shaped like it is. I have used that shadow for my brows as well. And I have also used this as an eyeliner, to set my eyeliner at least. So I am really excited to say that I am moving on to a new shadow. Today I have a well, I have lashes on, but I have a black eyeliner. And I set that with this shadow right here. This is a... I would say it is, is a cool toned grey brown. That one right there. As you can see, it's more grey and more cool toned than the other shades. Yeah. So I have moved on to that one to set my eyeliner. I have not chosen a new brow colour because I am panning a shadow that I like for that purpose in another project. So I'm going to take a break from this palette for my brows at least. Right now I am panning this greenish teal shadow look. So I'm not really using this palette. Um, I have used that shade a little bit to blend out some shadows. Today I have used this on my lower lash line and a little bit here in the outer corner to darken things up a little bit. This is my other shadow that I have a pen on this month, which is a very warm toned eyeshadow, a warm toned brown, dark brown. I'm really excited about it. I have gone all in for that shadow because I really wanted to have pan. And yes, it looks like I have, I'm have. i digging into the shadow, but I'm just concentrating on one spot because I really want to have pan. And I just really want to a pen and then move on to other shadows and then I can finish them up on a later date. I hope you guys don't think I'm cheating. I, I'm really not. These are the shadows I have a pen on. It's really satisfying that I have had pen on a complete row, you know. So maybe I'm just going to take this row because I already have one pen. I'm excited to see how many pans I can hit by the end of the year because then I'm going to switch out this palette and then come back to it, of course. I just need to make things exciting for myself and that is to switch out the things that I'm working on. So yeah, that is my matte palette for this month. I don't know what shades I want to pan on for next month, but I really want to pan on that shadow because I have been focusing on it for so long now. Um, but that is orange and I'm focusing on an orange in my single ladies. I don't know. So yeah, maybe one of the transition colors up here. I have not decided yet, but I will. And you will see next time 
or here next time what I have focused on. My single ladies have moved into the bigger C palette that I have and that just works well because I have more shadows here that I focus on and then a blush. I'm not panning a blush right now so I'm really enjoying just mixing my Benefit blushes right here. So yeah, these are my loose single shadows that is not in the palette or a compact, you know. So let's just go through the single ladies that I have in this project. And that is of course a single shadow if you haven't figured that out yet. The first single shadow that I have in this project is a Benefit single shadow from a holiday kit or whatever in 2015 I believe it was. And this is a satin cream shade called Call Me Buff. I have a massive dip in it, but I have had a massive dip in it for months now. I was really sure that I could hit pan by this update, but hopefully I can hit pan on it next month. And then we can roll something else in because I really want to use something else now for my single ladies. My goal is to hit pan on this by the next month and I think I can do that. I do think I can do that. The next single shadow is the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Morocco. This is a beautiful orangey shade. I am using this in my crease together with a kind of brown that I am also working on from another palette. So as you can see, it has some holes and it... it I wouldn't say it is a dip, but it is definitely used, you can see in the pan. I'm pretty excited about it, but this eyeshadow is pigmented. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to be careful if you don't want this intense of an orange in your crease. This could be a beautiful one shadow look if you want that, but I need my shimmer, so I'm not for the one shadow look. But, but if I was, I was going to use this because orange is one of my favorite colors in eyeshadow at least. I am trying to get used to the clothing, you know, but yeah, I really, really like this shadow. It is going to take me forever to go through though, but that's okay. This project is going to be here forever, so it works. <laughs> then we have Makeup Geek Anarchy, which is a beautiful purple with a yeah, pink shift. It is a beautiful shadow and I have not really used it the last month. Yeah, I don't think you can see a difference, maybe a because I knocked it a few times, but I, th one of them was there before. I, I haven't seen the picture from last time yet, but it's here. Not getting that much use because I really want to finish this blue. Then we have the Color Rain Side of Olives shadow. This still looking like this. I have maybe used it once since last time. I'm I really want to. I'm focusing on this one and then I'm panning so, mu so many other shades that my single ladies get neglected, which is, which is a shame. It is. I, and I want to be better. I'm going to pan this look and that includes Benefit Shadow, the white one that I'm panning, a shade, a shade or two from this one and a shade from another palette and then at least this um, teal shade from another project. <laughs> it's a lot, but I'm going to make it work and I really like this eye look. I wore a similar look in another video this... Uh, no, not this week. Last Sunday. Um, so I'm trying to pan that. <laughs> oh yeah, and this is the shadow that I am wearing in my brows that I have in my whole collection for Japan. I'm really excited about my progress. Not so much my single ladies, but I'm really hoping that I can hit pan on the Benefit cream. Beige eyeshadow by next update and then I hit a pan or two in my Morphe palette. I'm crossing my fingers because I really want some more pan in that palette before I'm going to change things up by January. I hope you guys enjoyed this update and if you did give it a like, subscribe down below. If you're new here I would love for you to hang around on my channel or stick around whatever you want to call it. I have a lot of project pants on my channel. I'm going to start a few new ones here in the next couple of months. I'm really excited and I'm going to end one in September. So that adds up, I think. Um, yeah, please stick around. If you are new here, I would love for you to join my family. And yeah, 
until the next one please take care bye